Hi, my name is Paul. I'd like to show you our Lexington GTS 255 by Forest River. It's powered by the uh, Ford uh, V10 Triton engine. It's a proven, dependable engine, and it has plenty of power. I'd like to start by showing you some of the features on the outside. The tires on the RV are relatively new. Uh, all the tires have been replaced, uh, including the spare. Side view mirrors. Uh, extendable side view mirrors. I'll start by showing you the side of the passenger compartment here. As you can see, it's very clean, been well taken care of, uh, never been smoked in. The seats are in excellent condition. We have the uh, manual awning, which is very nice, very easy to pull out. You can detach it from the RV and set the uh, post into the ground if you'd like. It makes it really nice for uh, walking around and getting in and outside of the RV, or you can just leave it attached. So we have the uh, built-in propane tank. You just pull up to your local Costco and get it filled. Very, very simple. We have uh, outdoor speakers. And then above that, we have the 110 power, which we like for outdoor cooking. Next to it is our battery compartment. When we got the RV, the batteries were practically dead, so we put two new batteries in from Costco. So you're good to go there for boondocking. Plenty of power. We got the uh, outdoor shower. If I can come a little closer, I'll show you storage. Plenty of storage, as you can see. Uh, I installed a LED light really is helpful at night when you're trying to set up. Then the other thing I'd like to point out is the two doors here, which gives you access from the inside. That's a great place to put your laundry basket. You've got more storage here. And this is where we store our drinking water hose. You can see it's in a basket, nice and out of the way. You get plenty of storage. Right to the back. As you can see up above, we've got the uh, rear view camera, nice ladder. And the ladder has uh, the bike rack attachment, and as you can see, you can put uh, two bicycles on here, or we use it for lawn chairs. There's your hitch. Tire, and this is your uh, fresh water fill. As you can. And once again, there's the backup camera. We got two slides: the bedroom slide, the living room slide, and then this is where the power cord. water pull valve is on the other side. This is your uh, fresh water uh, city fill connection, uh, city water connection, and then we've got the uh, outdoor light which is really nice. So in this compartment where we store the sewer hose and the connection, plenty of storage, Put our blocks for leather. And what you hear behind me is the Odin 4KW generator, which is uh, powerful enough to power the AC and all the electric inside. Then, a little closer, I'll show you the driver compartment. Here's your mirror controls. Control your mirror here. And then this is the electric defrost uh, for your for your windows. You do have a tilt wheel and a cruise control. And if you come a little bit closer here, I can show you. You've got two 12 volt adapters 
Not sure if you can see that or not. And there's a cigarette. This has never been smoked in. Uh, you got their CD player stereo, uh, plenty of cup holders, and then the little change uh, container. And then up here is your rear view uh, monitor. Plenty of room. Let's go inside and I'll show you the features of the doors. very nice in here. I think it got up to almost 100 degrees today. AC is not having any problems keeping up. The 2006 Lexingtons had the cathode ray tube televisions um, that's been up upgraded with the LED TV. Uh, this is not the original uh, stereo. I'll let that warm up. While it's warming up here, I'm going to show you the uh, center console. You got a folding tray. Kind of nice you can set some drinks or snacks on that and you can uh, use that for additional seating and here's your radio it has an sd card usb bluetooth phone you can take and receive phone calls from your couch uh, audio auxiliary and you can plug your tv in and uh, listen through the three speakers up above two speakers down below and then there's two speakers in the back Plenty of storage. Here's some more storage here for you. We didn't find it necessary, but if you wanted more storage, I'm sure you could modify this and use this space behind the uh, television. But as you'll see, there's plenty of storage up above. Deep storage here. And here you have your jackknife sofa. These lift right out, and you can uh, fold the sofa back. This will sleep for very comfortably. You have drink holders here on the side, each side of the sofa. Let's move back to the kitchen here. More storage, pretty deep here. Your pots and can drawer. Two more drawers. And more cabinets. This uh, cutting board's been modified with the rubber pad, so you can leave that here. You don't have to worry about it going anywhere. I really like this stove top, uh, easy light burners. Just the quality of this is very, very nice. Here's your stainless steel uh, range or vent hood. Exhaust to the outside. The original microwave was replaced with this unit here wanted to point that out. Let's switch places here. And I'm going to show you the uh, pantry next. The pull-out pantry. So again, this is a 2006 Lexington. Uh, the newer Lexingtons, I don't think are as nice for some of the features I just showed you, but you won't find this in the newer Lexingtons. Your pull-out pantry. So you got plenty of room for food. Uh, these are adjustable shelves. They just slice out of the way. Locks in. More storage down below. And uh, if you just want to take a shot back, there's plenty of room here to get from the front to the back. So if you're pulling into a rest area, you want to fix a meal, you want to go back, take a nap, have access to the bathroom, plenty of room. But we don't even have the slides out yet. So we'd like to go ahead and put the slide out. We like this model because it doesn't have the dinette, which limits your seating options. So what we do is we store our two TV trays behind the sofa and just pull them out uh, for our meals. As you can see, there's plenty of room here. You can even uh, put a chair here uh, and uh, watch TV. The uh, refrigerator, this is not a small refrigerator or freezer. It runs off gas or electric. Lots of room there. And then the, uh, the vanity. So we have, you want to take a look here. Point out, um, those are the original lights. I think all of the other lights on the RV, and if you want to point back to the ceiling, we've changed out all of the bulbs. 
those are the newer style LEDs, they're not the blue and white LED bulbs, but the more natural looking light. Get more storage down here. Drawers. Um, this is the control panel here. And as you, you can see here, the generator only has 327 hours on it, not a lot for a 2006. I'd also like to point out the Arctic Pack. Um, the benefits of this is it has electric heating pads attached to the bottom of your gray tank and your black tank to keep it from freezing. So it's uh, an extra value on this GTS 255. Um, there's your water heater, water pump, and then your lights for your living room and your kitchen, and your slide out. And that's the outdoor light that you saw uh, when we walked around. Let's look at the bathroom next here. Bathroom, lots of room, a separate toilet. And uh, this is not the plastic, cheap plastic, but it's a ceramic, ceramic bowl. And you lift up on it to fill the, to fill the tank if you want to keep water in the bowl. Now let's look at the shower here. So I'm not a really tall person, but a person who's six foot tall has plenty of room here. We upgraded the uh, shower head on this, added the soap container, but lots of room. This has its own exhaust fan. And then if you back up, you see the uh, AC unit. So there's one AC unit, which is more than enough for units this size. And I, this is a high velocity fan. I don't know if it's the fantastic fan, but it does pull uh, quite, a, quite a bit of air through. So if you don't want to run the air conditioner, Got that as an option. Go ahead now and just put off the slide. There's a little switch right here on the side. But I like the fact that the the bathroom, the vanity, the bedroom, they have their own light switches. And in addition to that, while this is sliding out, if you want to look on each side of the bed, you've got two uh, reading lights. The one on the left has the original bulb. The one on the right, we upgraded it with an LED, which is just as bright, uh, but not nearly as hot. Uh, more uh, cup holders. You got the side pockets, which are great for your remote control reading glasses. Again, another fan here. And then let's take a look at the wardrobe. This is really, really nice. You got plenty of room for hanging clothes. It's a cedar lined closet. And you see the light here that comes on as you open the door. Cedar lined drawers. And uh, again, another LED TV, which was a cathode ray tube TV before. Uh, you could incorporate storage behind there if you wanted to, but we never felt the need to do that. Here are the double doors that go out if you wanted to put that laundry basket in that I mentioned earlier. You got that as an option. And another cedar line closet with light, plenty of storage. I think the only other thing I wanted to to demonstrate where the blinds. So if we go to the kitchen here, these are really nice. You've got uh, a regular window. And it's, this is the two section blind. I don't know if you've seen these before or not. But this window allows you to still see through. And this one gives you uh, complete privacy. And all of the windows have that feature. Uh, the one other thing I didn't demonstrate was the pop out uh, shelf. This really is nice for giving you some extra work, working space. So if you're interested, give us a call. Uh, email me at the information below. We'd love to uh, sell this to you. It's a great unit. You will not be disappointed. I wouldn't hesitate to take this cross country. It's a very dependable RV. We have all of the service records uh, and uh, like I said, just contact us for more information or if you got more questions. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.